air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. The base operations center. Its decision is directed by the battle commander. Personnel not immediately assigned take refuge in fully equipped shelters. Four three nine squadron reports that they're all set to deploy. Okay, let's send them now in pairs, uh, five minutes apart, and keep two in the south cap. Right, sir. Colonel McDonald, go ahead uh, and uh, execute the plan and uh, release your aircraft. 439 Squadron, in a pre-assigned air defense role, deploys to LAR. Pilot briefings include a Met synopsis. Traffic. Zero six five seven. I have four unidentified fast flyers inbound. A range of three five miles. Bearing zero six is two. Over. Zero one zero. All stations. This is zero red zero. Group is looking at north north over. The exercise scenario calls for the testing of low-level air defense. While at 409 and 421, the pilots prepare their missions. Air attack, air attack. Adopt the closing date. Fly the red flag. Fly the red flag. Air attack, air attack, air attack. The scenario also demands that everybody continues to work during an airfield attack. Tiger Mike's inbound, sir. Warship identified friendly. Tiger Mike's Lark Tire. Call 10 miles straight in, runway 21 active. Airfield condition white. Lark QNH 3010. Twins 180 at 5. At LAR, the first of 439 Squadron has arrived. Equipped with 20 millimeter cannon, firing at 6,000 rounds a minute. And with Sidewinder and Sparrow air-to-air -air missiles, one CAG's CF-18s are potent weapon carriers. In Baden, all clear, and gas masks can be thankfully removed. Sure, the uh, crater down by Taxiway Golf is going to interfere with that next interdiction mission. Okay, the aircraft are going to have to come out of south dispersal Take taxiway echo and backtrack on the runway. You better advise support ops that uh, fixing that crater is our first priority. At LAR, deep in the underground headquarters bunker, the commanding general of one CAG makes his dispositions. I recommend that uh, we reallocate uh, two bowsers from LAR to one. Okay, go ahead and do that. Uh, have LAR move them up to bottom and then see if we can't arrange some replacement bodies. Back at Bat, the engineers, dressed now in open state, practice getting a damaged taxiway back into operation.
now fully briefed with their missions planned and targets plotted, the 409 Nighthawks and 421 Red Indian squadrons move to the attack. Sir, the ground defense force has spotted two armed intruders at the south end of the airfield. They're close enough to interfere with operations in the south dispersal and the south end of the runway. Okay, we've got uh, 20 minutes to secure that before we launch our next airplanes. Okay, sir. Yes, we have. Meanwhile, in the self supporting shelters capable of housing and feeding their occupants for up to seven days, the off duty men and women await their shifts. start the attack on their simulated targets at a practice range. In actual combat, a more tactical approach would be used. But here, deference to nearby civilian populations has priority over tactics and dictates the less offensive run-in. Their mission completed, they return to base to refuel and rearm for fresh targets. That checks eight and a half miles from touchdown, still correcting from the right hand side. Turn right hitting one nine or five. Surface winds on final and showing 350 at 5 knots. Turn right hitting 210 ground, you're nicely off course, 8 miles from touchdown. 210 the heading now, 7.5 miles from touchdown. Okay, I'd like those uh, turn as soon as possible so we can launch with tangos on the next mission. You've got it. We're going to get a, an update on the NP uh, and the escape and evasion plan. Okay, start taxi takeoff will be SOP. Uh, we'll hack at Carl's room. I want the wingers. On the left, it'll be an offset card for okay. me. While the pilots are being briefed for their next target, the aircraft undergo OTRs, operational turnarounds. The ground staff are ready with fuel, ordnance, and for any possible repairs.
Romeo Section 3 aircraft are loaded and ready to power on. Okay, Gord, have them scramble ASAP. At Baden and at Lahr, the exercise continues. It may extend several nights and days. The majority of people on both bases do not know when it will end. But until it does, everyone, from battle commander to private, will give of his or her utmost. In one CAG, being second best is not acceptable. Thank you.